massive suburban twins, and I'm not talking about babies. I put these photos up here because lots of us kind of relate to twins because we've always seen them in TV shows like Rick and Nash and Jack and Cody. I doubt anybody knows who Nelson brothers are, but I thought Kendra might know, so <laughs> that's fun. Um, so according to Timothy Gunn's the leading software engineer at NASA states that NASA, along with other investigations and 12 universities, they all join together in a twin study to observe what really happens to the human body while in space. On March 22, 2015, identical twins Mark and Scott Kelly were separated when Mark stayed behind on Earth and his brother Scott went to outer space to live for a year. This trend study helps scientists determine what is going on in space and the reasons why space travel is just for the body. The twin study on the two men, Mark and Scott, was taken to compare the differences between their almost identical bodies. The first twin Scott had to, ex had to exercise in space to stop his muscles and bones from deteriorating. An example is this picture where he is on a resting treadmill, and the treadmill is actually on the side, and he's just hanging. And he had to do that, and other similar exercises as well in space. He also had to keep a high tempo work schedule and eat freeze fried food. After this study, he had spent a total of three years in space. Mark, on the other hand, the one that stayed on Earth, did not have to exercise daily, and he got to eat what he wanted to. He had only spent a total of 57 days in space. The results from the study showed that there was a loss in bone, decreased motor skills, and a growth in telecoms. Telecoms are little caps on the ends of chromosomes that just kind of determine how tall a person is. And Scott's had actually gotten longer. And Susan Bailey, a radiation biologist at Colorado State University, stated that the results were exactly the opposite of what they expected. They had originally hypothesized that Scott's would shrink. So you might be wondering why does space have this effect? One reason is space has no gravity. Gravity is the force that attracts the body towards the center of the Earth. Without the stress from gravity, the bone loses minerals. Another reason is the surroundings in space. There is limited space on the aircraft and higher rates of radiation. According to NASA's Human Research Program, Astronauts receive over 10 times the amount that occurs on Earth. The study, the study gives scientists the chance to invent better equipment and better training. In the future, they plan to head to Mars, and this will take about three years. And if they can develop this, then that will go a lot faster. John Hopkins Genetics and Jim Finberg stated that the greatest importance of the study is to show that we can do it. This space exploration creates more jobs and it also allows more availability to explore Jupiter's moon, Eureka, for signs of life besides hydrothermal vents. This would be an extraordinary discovery to find deep sea creatures close to heat vents leaking out millions of nutrients.